Okay. Well, good morning, folks. It's another day here. We are getting the combine out, getting the header carts out, getting things switched around. We need to get that green platform head out and get it put on the combine. We are switching things around here for wheat. We've uh, finished planting and first cutting hay. It's been a couple weeks since we finished that stuff up, but we're getting this combine out so we can get it serviced, greased, and prepped for this coming harvest season. Wheat's a couple weeks out, I suppose. So we're just trying to get things ready to go. That way, so it's time to go, it's time to go. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. Go ahead and go back a little bit. Back? Black things here, so better turn. That'll help you get one to go your way. I got extra here. More? See what I mean by why we put our tarp in place. Unfortunately, we weren't quite far enough forward with it, but we've at least caught the most of it. Looks like my header could have shifted that way a little bit, but it'll be fine. But yeah, when you set these heads down, you want the back of them to line up with those two places where it catches it. That way it can't fall off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cleaned up a little bit here, get that stuff put in a bucket switch around our, our feeder house chain adjustment here that way it's closer to the bottom
here. Uh, I'm gonna have to see that uh, crescent fish too. There you go. I don't know why I don't want to go. I want to be stubborn for some reason. Apparently. Do you need it back right now? I don't think, I think I'm good. You'll need it over there probably. Well, I'm not sure how much I'll get filmed here. Uh, my battery's only at 12%. Um, I won't do a whole lot of jibber jabber in here. That way we can uh, at least get some footage. I'll throw you up on time lapse and you can see what I'm doing. But got all the shields opened up. Just pulled this back here to the shop. Got the hose run out here, blow gun. We're gonna go ahead and have the, the fun task of blowing this thing all out. Combines are a giant uh, dust collector, I guess you could say. So first task I have here after putting the heads on here is to blow it out that way we can go over it check chains all that stuff make sure everything's good and then after that we'll probably wash it it probably won't be today I doubt it we'll see but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you up on time lapse here we're gonna get the old blowgun going and uh, get itchy so let's get after it
The torque amplifier levels lever started feeling kind of wonky when we finished bailing. Um, moves up and down, doesn't do anything. And uh, come to find out there's a, well, I guess it's a cable with a piece threaded in the end that's bent that goes through the lever and it's broke off. So we have the part, so this afternoon is dedicated to dismantling whatever is necessary to fix that because we kind of like a torque. It's kind of handy. You can slow down and speed up under power. So, that's work for me, computer work. This is the particular part he's talking about. I didn't actually end up looking up in there. This broke when we were making the last couple acres of hay over there at the Schnur property. The accumulator fund. Yeah. And uh, this uh, torque is really nice for whenever you're doing hay. You know, you get to a thick part in the windrow, you can torque back. Get to a thin spot, you can torque ahead. And I really like having a torque amplifier. Um, I know a power shift tractor, they're a little nicer. They got variable gears you know like an 18 speed like what the uh, magnums have but these are just the high low reverse and the 86 series and you use a torque amplifier on them for kind of splitting the gears but anywho's it it kind of started making a, a funny feeling whenever you'd move it you can see it it doesn't act right and dad looked up in there and i guess this piece somewhere up in here is actually broken i can't see it yet it's uh i don't know where must hook to the other end of that somewhere. Yeah. So I think we're going to have to take uh, that side panel off to get access. Okay. So you need nine sixteenths? Uh, half. Half? Yeah. This little item right here goes on here and it is frozen up and therefore it broke. So we gotta free that, replace that, probably put some never seize on the new one, and then she ought to work. Like it's supposed to. You want the lighter now? Yeah. Well, I wish I had it in my hat light, but it's at home. A lot of good it does there. Get a hammer in there and a punch or uh, no? Maybe a small hammer. Small hammer? I might need some memory cloth because there's a boatload of paint on that thing. It's probably the smallest hammer I own is right here. I'll set this up here for you. I don't know if I have emery, but I have, um, yeah, I don't have emery, but I got 1,000 grit, or 180 grit, sorry, not 1,000 grit. Cut off whatever you need of this, or do you want me to cut you a small strip now? Uh, sure. I need to get some more emery. I thought I had some more. I don't remember where we got that stuff. Was it Lowe's? I really don't remember. They used the glass to line up. They got caked in grease. And... That's usually the end of it. Yeah. I try not to use PB too soon because once you get PB on it, it's, it's history. Well, we succeeded in removing that. It took quite a bit of wiggling and PBN, and this is the other end of it here. It just so happened it came right out. We are a little nervous how this is gonna come out. We're gonna go back to the workbench here and see if we can uh, make it come out without breaking out, which is the objective here. We've got a torch here, so hopefully I don't have to use that. But if I do, I guess I do. We're gonna see what we can get done here. Uh, wrenches uh, will be next one down for SAE. You got gear wrench and you got standard, whatever you want. That's seven sixteenths. Right. I think I just want to stay right here the rest of the day. 
I was gonna say you could turn the air conditioning around there. <laughs> I forgot my, I forgot my water. So well, the nut is moving, but the other piece of, it is reverse thread. Would you believe that? Huh. Okay, vice grips it is. What'd you do with the big ones? Or are you just gonna use the little ones? No, we can try the little ones. I guess I can move that nut down if it's in your way. Is it up too far? I can go the other way and make it disappear. Wiggling. Now this is reverse threads, you said, right? The other piece was, and it looks like that one is too. Okay. We just have to remember that. Yeah. And we'll have to reuse this nut on the new one because it didn't. Didn't come, come with one, it. yeah. Imagine that. Right. You don't get anything these days. And I think we all never see that too. Okay, I'll get the next piece. You never know if you have to do this again someday. Well, I suppose we better go to the tractor now. And uh, we'll need the nevers. Probably two, two wrenches there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gooey. I see. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> you almost just get it close and it figures it out past that. Now, that's got to go. This is in the up position right now. Yeah. It looks like you can just swing that in place. Put it down and see what it does. Hmm. Um, exactly. There it goes. Yeah, it's going to have to go down a lot. The other one was screwed in quite a bit, so. Yeah. Guess I'm going to need that wrench. There it is. Well, we got that in there. Couldn't really film it very well, being as okay, it be. was the work area. Show them a it's a tight area for two of us to get into, but this is the piece that broke. This little elbow here broke off right here at the threads. Got rusty where it goes through the casting. So when you went to torque in, obviously it wouldn't do anything because it was broken. This this rod here is what controls that that linkage to run that. So we got that fixed now. So we should have our torque back. We're gonna go ahead while we got this thing in here, and the air compressor's right there. We're gonna clean the air filter and give this thing a quick once over and it'll be ready to go back into service and we can hook it back up to the baler that way we're ready for second cutting which is in a couple weeks here This step right here has been, that's annoying. Every time you go up and down the step has been freaking. And that weld underneath there broke, so it's close to the welder, so it's going to get welded. So we don't listen to that cricket every time you get on and off the tractor. Trying to think of everything you can do while it's here. Yeah, most of the time they're hooked to something doing a job they're not exactly free right next to something in most <coughs> situations
good. I was making sure it was actually well more I needed to. Mm -hmm. I need a new torch liner. sheet metal so it is uberly thin. That sounds a lot better. There was a crack I'd like to weld. I'd like to weld it over down to be honest. But... That well, might not sounds, be the prettiest down there, but sounds much, much better. I think that'll work. Not gonna miss? a tight fit. You didn't really realize how tall an 86 series tractor is until you go to pull on a 10 foot door. I'm going to give her a test here and see if it works. We'll go low range that way we're not going fast. We're not supposed to. It does what it's supposed to, so that's all that matters is that it torques and untorques and does things of that nature. That way we can use it as we intended to. So we're gonna park this thing, put the truck back, and we'll move on to what's next on the list. Well, that has uh, escalated quickly. There just really wasn't anything in there worth a darn. Got a lot on the truck. Already took one load down. 